What's going on guys? So today I wore a fragrance that I have not wore in quite some time and I realized I never did a full review on this fragrance in all the years I've had it, which is kind of criminal because it's quintessential winter fragrance as it gets. It's one of the strongest fragrances. It's touted for being just a monstrous performer. Of course, we're talking about Mancera's Red Tobacco. So stay tuned. <laughs> So real quick, I'm sure you guys are wondering what's up with my label. So when I first got this a few years ago, there was a small leak by the atomizer. So when I moved to elevation, pressure started to build inside of here and made it leak out. And it actually bubbled up some of the label. Now, you may not be able to see it completely, but you'll see it in the lighting a little bit. That's not just scratches. Right there is the worst spot. That's for me trying to clean the bottle and the red paint for the glass, the coating actually coming off. So it's the whole bottle. So that's why it looks the way it does. It actually leaked. Now, I mean, it's not like if I hold it upside down, it just leaks and leaks. It's the most minuscule of things. And this is an older screw cap design. <sighs> Beautiful, I have four sprays on right now. So what you can expect from this was an extremely pungent opening. There's a lot of smoky incense earthy tobacco, very spicy, very sweet. You're going to get a lot of different things here. You're going to get this apple smell. It's going to get this fruity sweetness at the top, but there's a lot of incense here, a lot, a lot of oud, and the tobacco, like I said, it's more on the earthy side. There's an ambery feel as it starts to settle in. This opening is not for the faint of heart. It's very strong. It's very pungent. It's very loud. This is one that can be obnoxious if sprayed heavy. And look, I get it. There's some heavy sprayers watching this video. And look, if you want to spray this 10, 15, 20 times, who am I to judge? Do whatever the hell you want. I personally don't do more than like five sprays because it's so immensely strong on my skin. As it dries down, it gets a little bit more on the musky and ambery side. I don't really get a ton of that vanilla, but it's inherently woody. There's oud in here. There's woody notes. There's a specific type of oud. I don't remember exactly what it is, but the tobacco never seems to fade. The spiciness kind of replaces some of that fruity sweetness that you get at the top because that will start to die out and it will get a little bit spicier as it settles. So it's not very one dimensional. It does have a few stages to it, though not the most deep and complex fragrance I've ever smelled, even though there's a good amount of notes here. The main takeaways from this is loud, obviously, but that's not an accord. Smoky, earthy, spicy, sweet, woody and musky that is pretty much the accords you can expect from this that's the way i would describe the fragrance that's the way it comes across on my skin it is a massive compliment getter believe it or not for as pungent as it is i can tell you firsthand my mother big fan of this one the last time i wore this around her she could not stop telling me how good i smelled even at one point she was walking behind me i was going to do something and i was like why, why are you following me she's like you just smell really good i just wanted to keep smelling you to each their own. There's a lot of, there's some people that this is just too much for them and they don't understand the hype behind it, but this is probably the most hyped Mancera not named Cedrat Boise. That's the two main ones from Mancera. They get all the love, all the support, all the critical acclaim, and they deserve it. And Red Tobacco definitely deserves all the love it gets and all the success it has seen because it smells that damn good. Now, to a lot of people's favorite part, the performance. This is such a dark, heavy fragrance with the kind of performance that will cut through the coldest of winters. That's why I say this is such a great beast for the winter time. This is the only time of year I wear it. It's when it's nice and cold outside because it's just overwhelmingly powerful. Longevity on this one is 12 plus hours. I've clocked it at 16 hours. I've clocked it at 18 hours. I'm sure if I wouldn't have took my shower after that point, it would have still kept going. I don't spray my clothes with this because I don't want my clothes to smell like this for weeks, because that would be the case. Even though this is an eau de parfum concentration, the ingredients, the heavy oils that are used in here, it's a heavy scent profile. It wears as such. It's really heavy, but still manages to be really loud. Projection, room filler. If you're moderate to high spray, which moderate I consider five to seven, that's my typical spray routine. When they're really strong like this, I may go down to four sprays, which I did today. But if you start going above the seven spray limit, or seven spray mark, I mean, so there's no limit. You can do whatever you want. It gets really, really strong. This one will fill a room. It is a straight-up beast. It's nuclear. It's ridiculous. 
it really is ridiculous. This is one of those fragrances that kind of dubbed the nuclear term in performance. Uh, I've said that about it from day one. It's just how it is. If you're looking for an absolute beast that's going to grab attention, Mansara Red Tobacco is known to do so. The sillage on it is immense as well. It's definitely on the moderate to heavy side after the projection calms down because the projection goes strong for about two to three hours. It projects really heavy off of the skin. The first hour, it, you're filling a room. There's no two ways about it. Even if you're on the moderate side, well circulated room with a fan going, everybody in the room's going to smell you. It's just what it is. You're going to overpower and overwhelm other people's fragrances if they don't have something equally or as close to as potent as red tobacco. Final thoughts on Mancera's red tobacco. It's, it's amazing. There's no two ways about it. I've always loved this fragrance. Um, it's one of the best tobacco fragrances ever created, in my opinion. Uh, there was a time when it was my favorite few years back it was my absolute favorite the pinnacle of tobacco fragrances for me and then since things have changed for me like Argos Triumph of Bacchus which is similar in many ways to this but doesn't have that dark pungence it's much more bright sweet fruity cleaner overall it's a more pure smell uh fragrances like Zaharoff Signature Tobacco more wearable more situations for me I'm much more situational with fragrances like this because it's so strong so dark and so heavy I kind of only wear it certain times of the year, whereas I have more flexibility with a more aromatic and herbal tobacco versus this heavy, pungent, spicy, oud, smoky, but it is amazing. I think it's absolutely outstanding. And Red Tobacco from Mancera is absolutely a 9 out of 10 fragrance. No two ways about it. It's as good as it gets for the most part. Um, I can't imagine too many people not liking this. I have seen comments on videos where I've talked about it in the past where they... Thought it was awful. I recently had somebody say it's the worst fragrance they ever smelled. Sample. This is not a safe blind buy. It's not. It's definitely sample worthy though. So you can get the experience and understand the hype and the love that it gets and see if it's for you. It may become your favorite fragrance or it may be a complete pass for you. But you won't know until you try it. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Mancera Red Tobacco. Like I said, one of the best tobacco fragrances ever made. One of, if not the best, cold-cutting winter beast that you can get. It's on the masculine side, but I know ladies that like to wear this too. It's perfectly unisex, just leans masculine. It's an amazing fragrance that I think everybody should at least experience once in their life. If you're into fragrances, you should smell this on skin at least one time, just so you could rule it in or rule it out of your collection. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. I mean, if you've tried it, I know a bunch of people that are watching this video have this or have it had have had it in the past. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with my assessment? Are you one of the few that can't stand this fragrance? All's fair. Not everybody likes every fragrance. I get that, guys. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on red tobacco from Mancera and you give it a spray now, I'm extremely confident you'll thank me later. Because like I said, it's one of the best tobaccos ever made. Have a good one, guys.